Hello everyone, I'm Jaime Moreno Vallejo, PhD in Economics, and I'm going to be presented my paper entitled A New Public Policy and Economic Approach to Cultural Sustainable Tourism of the Andes. I would like to make some acknowledgement to the Union of Indigenous and Peasant Organization UNURCAC Cotacachi, Ecuador. Now, to kind of summarize what we have done, we attempted to look at the current reality of sustainable cultural tourism in the Andes, Cotacachi, Cayapas, province of Imbabura in Ecuador. The paper shows that the communities of indigenous and peasant face as a consequence of historical discrimination and very limited political participation and economic approaches based upon capitalism as an only one way. Well, cultural colonialism often went hand in hand with economic colonialism and the current reality does not change at all. From the very beginning of the Western influence of their countries and their culture were seen as a business and the aim of colonizers and developers still making profit with economies of Latin America. What we examined were three different processes, in particular self-awareness, validation and empowerment, on behalf of this community of indigenous and peasant community. By the way, these people face very diverse problems, such as living condition, poverty, low level of education, and as well, very important problem could be an cultural exclusion and political exclusion. This kind of inequalities, there are very ways to consider this problem in this community in a specific. Now, if we look at the methodology for a moment, the central concern of the research is the following. Does the participation and empowerment of the indigenous and peasant communities, this help to alleviate poverty, increasing living condition, improving life quality and increasing political participation. It's necessary to think to build their own cultural economic model based on a different way of tourism that could contain the interests of human and well-being that transcends capitalistic expectations. So essentially the hypothesis that we formulate is that participation and empowerment of these communities through education does contribute to improve and overcoming poverty condition and to design a new public policy to contain a different economic approach. In order to do this we look at two things specifically. We analyze the participation and empowerment through education to reduce poverty and design a new public policy that contains cultural sustainable tourism. We identify different factors that affect and improve participation and empowerment. Everything was done through the files, visits, include participant observation. The participants were selected who belongs to the organization that were linking to the Union of Indigenous and Peasant Communities, UNORCAC, Cotacachi, Ecuador. In addition, individual interviews focus group were applied in this model of research. The interviews were guided by survey discussion script to facilitate collection of the target data. Sustainability logic for a tourism of life 
following the holistic point of view where Indians get into an economic and political sustainable tourism good change at worst the present order. Pacha Sofia gave us the guide to consider both economic reality and cultural sustainable tourism. Be part of a world that everything is connected with everything will be a new way of thinking for our countries. To conclude, a new worldview in tourism must be focused on Asian cultural thinking and affect in economics, education and culture. It's necessary an economics rights in terms of cultural and socio-economic equality which enable new ways of development with its own cultural, economic, and philosophical identity of Latin American countries. Finance is necessary to think to build a new public policy for the Indian community on the agenda for the governments of Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, and Bolivia to formulate a new ways of international relations and cultural sustainable tourism as a new ways of diplomatic service to create new law for these members and to implement finally and evaluate the new law for these countries. This could help us to build a new model of economic based on cultural sustainable tourism in the Andes. Thanks very much indeed.